Um, these calculated fields, you know, this is basically, uh, see, we would have, when we connect to a database and, and already data source and get the data into Tableau, you know, it, it will give us dimensions and it will give us measures. But then there might be a lot of times when you, when you see that, okay, I do not have enough, I mean, I, I do not have all the fields that I wanted, you know, so probably there is a calculation that you might want to do, uh, wherein you might want to put a, uh, a flag, you know, for each row which says uh, true or false based on whether it's making profit or loss, or you want to calculate um, some ratio, you know, like the sales, uh, if sales is not equal to zero, then discount or something of these kinds, you know, or you want to do any of these calculations and then create a calculated measure or, or a calculated dimension. We use calculated fields. So this is this is when actually you know, this is, this will help us you know when you have to create some small calculations within the Tableau um, based on the data underlying data and then use that in your visualization or use that for any different purpose either filter or or sorted by that or something of that kind. So you can so that's that's how that's why we would uh, use calculated fields. So I can I'll just I'll just take you through a couple of examples. Of creating calculated fields. So it's it's very easy to create a calculated field now. So if you can, either, there are different ways of doing it. One is go to this analysis, and then you have this create, create calculated field. So you can just click on that, or you can actually, if you if there is any particular dimension or measure that you want to create your calculated field on. So you can do this you know I so I will go and right click and then create a calculator field so it will by default pick me uh, pick that um, measure for me in the formula bar in the formula section so I can just I can just call this profit calculator. So I, I can do it again. So uh, what all can you do in this calculated field? Like what all formula can you apply? You know, so that those functions there are like Tableau provides us a lot of built-in functions that you can actually use, and these are the functions. So the functions are listed here. Functions are listed here, so you can actually see all of them here, or if you want to see each by um, group, you know, like uh, you want to see only the number of functions and all those things, you can do that. You know, by selecting these drop down. But then it, it gives you a lot of options, you know, with which you can create and create a lot of different calculated fields, you know, like anything that you want to do with type conversion or uh, or aggregate, you want to do some aggregations or pass through. And I, I, I'll just uh, show a few of them later on in the, in, the, in the sessions. So now I would just go ahead and create a logical thing, you know, so I just want to see if profit, if profit is greater than So it is. It is a basic. Uh, it's very simple uh, language. You know, if you have um, used any of the programming languages, these these um, the condition uh, the, the the syntax is pretty similar to that. You know. So yeah, so it's this calculated field. See, I have not specified what type of field it is, or what type of, what is the data type for it. You know, it will automatically pick that up um, based on what conditions I'm giving here within the what what value I'm giving here within the conditions of the if statement. You know, and if there is any problem, you know, so if uh, okay, I'll just let me just go ahead and say yes, yes. So you see here the profit calculated field has come up in the dimensions section. So now if you want to see what the value is, you can just drag it here. So there's most of the thing we only have we only have no because of the the condition that I have given. So if you want to check change the conditions, you can just go here. 
sales and then you have this and you want to see what are the customer segments which is or which is the customer name you can just drag your customer name here then it will tell you who are the guys you know who's, who've got it just groups you again you can use this calculated field to find out who are the customers who've got and you can move this around um, and put it next to the customer or then or, or group put it before that so that it groups the customers based on the calculated profit and you know, so whether profit is greater than uh, a million or not so this is this is a this is how you can create a calculated field and what I was trying to tell at that point of time is that you saw that I did not actually specify anywhere where what kind of field data type it should be it actually picks it up by based on this value that I'm trying to pass into the calculated field based on the condition here in the if statement so so that that's how um, these are a very simple calculated field that I created and you could use it in a very very in, a, in different ways you know so and one more thing that I wanted to say was you know so you see here this um, tick mark and saying the calculated calculation is valid so if I if I don't do that if I, if I give something else you know so here uh, the moment I delete one or two columns uh, uh, one one of the three uh, letters you know it, it gives me that there's an error in the calculation so it says syntax message so it basically guides you uh, with the with the with the with messages as to what could probably be wrong um, here if I try to pass a numeric value you know it it tells me that an expected a string type found integer so what it what it does is you know it, it comes from this end it sees it, it calculates the condition and it it sees that then I am I am passing a in the then uh, statement after the then I'm passing a value which is of a string type but then after the else I'm trying to pass an integer so it tells me that and then I can actually go ahead and change that as I want so it's it's pretty uh, pretty uh, good in that way it will help a lot and, and then even if, if you want so like it, it, it gives you all the uh, syntax how you could do go I mean go about doing this if condition or various different um, there is different functions that it provides you so based on so based on your PR requirement or, or what kind of uh, calculator field you want to build you know you can use you could use one of these functions and come up with that so now I've just changed it you now it says 90 and then greater than 100 so th this is this is basically how um, we can create a calculated field. So uh, any any questions uh, in calculated fields or? Okay. So, so again, let me just summarize. So calculated fields are created when we we would like to either. Put on put in a view in a, put inside our view of a field which is not available right away from the database so that we need to create it based on a certain condition or it could be a business rule that is given to you um, in the requirement or it could be a simple um, yes or no kind of a flag which uh, we kind of built right now you know so uh, any of these things you know could be used to create and calculated fields could be used to create these kind of fields and then use them in your in your visualization.